attempted to series of repairs, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the island uh. to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of series whereabouts. <laughs> Anyways, welcome everyone back to The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Now where I left off, I have no fucking clue. I mean, the only thing I remember is just some barbarian shit whatnot. Oh yeah. Let's get a move on, shall we? I think we went Visegrad then. And we went up north? I don't know. <coughs> I know it's good to know. You can push your potion supplies by meditating. And I can craft it, it would be even better. <sighs> the high vampires. There. All good and dressed like a slut. And I forgot about the masculine too. <laughs> Alright, minus 20. Hold on a moment. Everything can be good. I'm going to get myself in trouble, which, you know, that's, uh, which is, uh, you know, I find to be pretty, pretty, uh, unlikely. Now we'll hunt. Okay. She who knows. Poison source. Cool. All right, gotta move on. Glamour, scent of fly like and gooseberries, <laughs> even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Why well, would it even change? And yes, I mean you can see that uh, Yennefer is a huge brony. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. Hey, well, I can only wonder what she used that for. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Yes, indeed. You got more shit to loot as well, too. Okay. I don't know why, but I... I'm losing, you know, quite a lot of inter interesting reading. I don't know why. Maybe like a patience. Maybe so much in their anger. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. I need to unrust. But then again, I mean, they shouldn't take much. Shouldn't take much, I guess. Meet Jennifer near the entrance to Kyre. Shit, wait. <coughs> the king is there, long live the king. And what was the other one again? For new clothes, to meeting with Jennifer. Horrible, horrible. Okay, looks good. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for? Her? Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna follow the little thing and hope I'm not wrong. Fuck you, cat! Oh, <laughs> raw meat. Don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Try to get hit in the gut. Don't tell you where they are. Get the horse. Where the fuck is that horse at? Good lord. Silly. 
silly, silly dog and hooves. I gotta get a move on. Take it easy. Get the fuck out of my way. Yes, it's me. <sighs> Don't even point that thing at me, you thought. Alright, and onwards we go. Climbing up even higher on these mountains. And even dig up some dumb old too. Nice! Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. That's true. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The oh. King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Yeah, I'm Gerald. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace froze on a battle axe. <laughs> Everyone's got their style. Let's, uh, really hit occasion like this. Beasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our oh. disgusts and prevail. Alright, let's find the roach. No oh, crap. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krak wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? <laughs> Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. <laughs> so, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese, our wagons full of loot we ripped from the back ones. We've also Garrett, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Go ahead. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Hmm. I think, I guess. Yep, it really does. What are you looking at, you faggot? Lady Jennifer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Good. Where can you... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king The farewell. mask is actually perfect. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter Ceres. Good. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them too. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher Geralt. <laughs> We've met. Don't remember? That nope. was ages ago. Yammer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Hall the Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Autric on Hindar. Oh well. And, uh, you're all Jarl's sons, all. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know, every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. Really? We all know the feats are a sideshow. 
Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Pat about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Ooh. Remember when Gyalmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Ooh. I had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Huh. Now that you mention him, just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. Really, why that? What about the race? Why don't we repeat? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'd be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Ah, uh, fuck it. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to do from all the boredom. Let's go! Aye. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. On At foot. the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. Yeah. You'll start when I sound the horn. Yep, on foot. Come on, now. Stupid and stupid goat, get out of the way. Show. Show me what you've got, monster slayer. Sure, sure. Jesus Christ, just hurry up already. Why are you wasting your time with this shit? Hurry, hurry up already. Yeah, yeah, it's like Gerald. He said a sweet time to climb over there. We don't have all that sweet time around. Good lord. We went from, you know, the uh, medieval European to the, uh, the Viking or barbarian, as some call. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. But uh, was anyone gonna pull this, pull the axe off his stump? No. Shit. All right then. See the wakes in full swing. Mm-hmm. Oh, sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. <laughs> not me. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? Yeah. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. That sounds a little lewd. Sure. Right, what do you got over here then? You feel like they're just waiting for us. Geralt of Rivia, the Witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinder. And Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck. Well then. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shut my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Well then. Calm down. 
Not skeletons call the truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my hinders for our bear. You don't scare anyone, don't or. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you call. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, but to have a war with the Empire is another. Awfully hmm. melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> got you far, Lugos. You know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Oh, shit. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the border. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Have it your way then. The benches, just to be some gob slapping. Right then. Eat it, little shit. Had enough. <laughs> oh, you got me good. That were quite a while. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. Mm hmm. No offense taken. Forget about it. That's a boy, Lloyd. <laughs> the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. That's a worthy one. Good. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. Visit me at points, mm -hmm. I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short job to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to <laughs> next. Can't drink now. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. Yo land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. Oh lord. At least we'll be not quite fun until I give him a knocking. And a good wallop, as they say. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. <laughs> because we've not been. So we're breaking in, huh? Let's go then! Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. <sighs> now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Don't mind me if I lose. No, I'm in the middle of the way as well, too. <laughs> oh, okay, good. At least you know didn't save me to drink, at least I drink some water. Oh. Ooh. Even more as well too. You like me, you know? I've got a lot of demands. Jackdaw's doing? Hold on in. Jackdaw's call. 
goldfinches, warbler, and cranes hoop, whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. What now? Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales coo. Okay, good. Work for this. I wasted only seconds. Close. <laughs> Can I take some weapons from over here? Seriously. This will be tough to open. You think? Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ernie and spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. They also sense a clear magic on Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're special too, it's a good thing. I mean, you said it out loud, it will too for everyone to hear. Not. Fine, fine. I'll get you for this. So what do you got now? Yes. Yes. Whatever. So yeah, we made it through. What now, huh? Look, lady, I'm trying to i I'm trying to lose shit over here. If you don't mind, you fucking amazing. Amazing. I got a bad feeling about this. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say though too. It's just in stasis. Even as our friend over here, the bear. Had one at Care More. Please. Even another one over here too. And that der. A der. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Yeah, maybe that might be it. I don't know. Wolfo. Yeah, Wolfo was already examined. Alright, the bear. Alright. What do we got here? A basin of water. For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants so speak to it. Fair enough. Why not go over here then? Are you alright? Cut myself. The door is locked. That's because... The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Ah, geez, for a second. Oh, Feel fuck me. Closer. Everywhere. Ah, clearly they're not gonna notice that at all, I mean. Ah, but I think Cutie really left it. Smells of... Mushrooms. Yeah, mushroom. I'll get you for that. You know that you know that they're not doing damage, and they can only just hit them down with one attack. It'll too. You oh shit! I'll get you for this. There. I knew another 
bear. I got my eyes on that one a little too for a while. Another bit. I'm actually getting out down beard enough to go them often in the mainland. Now this. Oh man. It's some hardcore shrooms. Oh yeah, baby. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing. I had to calm you. <laughs> Must have looked funny. Mm. Must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training more and finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Trial of taxidermy. Right behind you, then. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Yes? No, 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 nothing. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. That's what we're doing. Theft. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography in past. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. And a stick? Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. That's amazing. What else we got? Uh, the classic a sword sto in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Really? Which vice? What are we talking about, huh? I'm pretty sure a friend over there might break in it. Appearance I'm given and start complaining about oh my god intruders intruders How could this happen? What are these things laboratory worthy of an imperial alchemist? <sighs> so much hard work for me now this thing you come off so easy Goes oh. in for light reading too the Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Right. If I ever fall into medieval times again, I might write books, I guess. What is this one? The Med. And triple mead. <sighs> what I got here? A book. Skelliger's Tales about the Wild Hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Ha! Ah. How many claws would that be? Would that need? And a skull. Child, skull. Child even. So he broke into this uh, druid's laboratory. Now we're looting it. What's this? Cthulhu? Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. <clears throat> uh, let's try the skull. Looks more philosophical in that case. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. <coughs> right then. So let's try the pine cone. Why do you say we give it a pine cone? Nothing. No shit. Uh, the mug of mead, I guess. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Bingo. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Who would have thunk? jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Why wouldn't it be? 
Ah. Let's move on then. You're welcome, and there it is. This is it. With an exception, isn't it? We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before... before. They goal them. Right, rough thing. Damn it. Ouch. Ouch. I don't mind taking a few hits, but holy shit. There we go. Gas. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Oh, amazing. It's not even World War II yet. Yes? Yeah. Uh Right, right, right. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Uh Hold on tight. I guess. <laughs> Damn. Tore a hole in my dress. Huh? Wait a minute. I must mend it. Sure, sure. Not a problem. You know how to sew. Of course she does. I'll enchant a needle. Uh, wouldn't mind watching. As long as they're not too nasty in that sense, you know. And I knew it. Oh. Well, not all that. What the? Okay. Wait. Jesus. For what? Take it easy. We must talk to Croc. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. Ooh. Easy now, you dog. Okay, holy shit, calm down. <laughs> What's she thinking? Oh no. Oh. I missed you too. <laughs> She doing? When are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? What is My he doing? Oh Lord! So many memories. Hey, hey! Damn it! Damn it. Damn Your kids watching this. Any idea how much Show some digging. Crocker cleared to ask about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Oh, good. No, I hate my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Ah, good lord. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. 
will take them to heart. But now, let's begin. The yes, yes. ran off to the beard and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. The king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. There's no lack of men like that. Uh -huh. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. What for you piece of shit? Good fucking lord. Fine, I'll cut over here then. How about that, huh? Be the best man a woman Win! Ah, fuck it. It's not working. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she sailed to speak her out. Ah, huh. children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. Uh-huh. Okay, good. By the way, as well too. I yeah, made it pretty sick, god damn it. How was it, Geralt? When Siri was nearing woman. Hmm. I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Siri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ceres in trouble. And you seek her. That's right. Hmm. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything. Merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Hey, that's so. Need help with, uh, Ermion. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, that Skellig's my eye. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald, tell the druid I must speak to him at the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. Mm hmm. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Really? Found in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Thought those giants died ages ago. Giants? They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye, 
dozens of refugees. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Ardsgeleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believed. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvig, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Suppose so. And Siri Sari's intent to lift the, the curse again? Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres had decided she must match Yalba and sought out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Uderic further than I can spit. Hmm. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a profession who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. Maybe, so, yes, maybe. I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Fair enough. And uh, now that to be king himself? For what? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? I think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, <coughs> man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Right, right. <sighs> Much better. Right, I'll help him. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Siri is still on Ardskellig. Of course. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. Mm hmm. A successful feast on all counts, Croc. I will see you later. Finally. And also... Geralt. You dog. I got them boots. 17. 26. Even better. Everything here seems to be all good and everything, so yeah. Devil's puffball. Why the hell not? Right? Ah, great. Wait, forgot something. I got. We got two available points. Yeah, we also got, 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 got uh, uh, even two more little too. I guess on this one. Good.
Which one again? Okay, then. All right. Can I go for this one, actually? No? Okay. Not that, you mong. Boom, there we go. All these mutagens we got over here. Plus 50 vitality. Ooh. Plus 100 vitality. Like these green ones. Boom. And boom. I have become more powerful. About you stomping the view of the guard. All right, good to know. But this, I, uh, yeah, good to know. Jesus Christ, no chance at all. I hope there was an auto save. No, never mind. I lost some coin. Get up, you hat. Get up, you slot. You slow poke. At least it lasts a bit longer this time. Huh? Not so fast, Roach. Right, right. And onwards we go. <laughs> anyway, now I know well, I mean, why... Why Yennefer keeps her huge ass and my little pony around. Now I know why. Come on. Bandit. Alright, no problem. I love killing you guys. <laughs> Who else are we missing? <laughs> Nothing on this guy over here? Oh wait, there was. Oh shit! Come on now! Get on the horse! <sighs> Nothing like you know using another animal to do you know the traveling for me. Fucking hell, I, I didn't see that. Oh well, one ambient for another one, am I right? I swear I could kill all these, all these horses. What the hell? Yeah, they're horses.
There you go. And now we gotta move on. Hmm. I got over here. Drowners, my favorite. Wait. There you go. They're all, they're all, they're all dead and killed. Even now, from. More stuff and I just left around here too. Alright, screw it. Let's gotta move on. We loot over here for what it what you Well what they need to be looted, that's no shit. Alright, then we gotta move on. Hmm. <laughs> eh, never mind. Stupid bugs. <laughs> Shit. Why the fuck am I bleeding so goddamn much? Make it stop! Whoa there, Roach. That piece of shit! <sighs> God damn that bug! So close and yet you know you got pinched by it. And yet, I mean, the sad part is, I mean, there's not, you know, food is not giving me enough to, to water that off now, isn't it? No. It simply isn't. Holy shit. <sighs> Too low to wear it. Wait, all the way over here then. I love when Shadow Play, you know, takes quite a while to respond. It's so fucking amazing. Holy shit. Oh, whatever. Out of the way, trash. And doggy. Oh, fucking amazing! I don't know how long this thing gonna went on. A lot of, a lot of important shit whenever it's uh, lost or whatnot. Got this thing so goddamn stupid. I was already there. Shit. Good, good. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to. Where Ciri's companion fled to, his portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Velen. Yeah, lovely. Well, Someone got hit by a sword over there. 
I don't know how much you know, they lost over the damn thing over here. But I hope it wasn't much. Don the mask. Come on then. What the oh. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. Most likely. Which means It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. Let's see where the attacker landed. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Uh, calm down, it happened. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what would be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? I need to examine one more trail. I've got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Geralt, please do before I'm forced to place down a weapon. Oh. What am I doing over here exactly? Geralt, please. Armor's oh. clean. No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. The Wild Hunt? Probably Maybe. because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Wall Hunt wants her because of the elder blood in her veins. Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is an obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. See, the Wild Hunt was on the uh, Hinder's Fall. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hinder's Fjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Right. Let's get together right now. Wait. Can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Fair enough. Quite a few years since I was last on this way. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Lofoten? 
Fair enough. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Never was and never will be. Alright. Perishing glory. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Oh Lord. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for an ashen-haired young woman. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. No, oh, really? This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A Craven. thousand curses upon him. Who were we talking about? This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, oh. speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. <laughs> What's that? Morkvag. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands. Took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the time. They said he feared only one thing: the wrath of the gods. Oh. Orkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. Oh. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? Oh. You've got some work to do. No shit. I can rid of you, Morkvarg. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Car usually don't fight monsters. Usually. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very scary. Then. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Very well. Thank for the help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. 
Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. But of course. So, so, this is Worried a place. this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? <laughs> so funny, ha 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 ha. Uh, all right then. My my, that must be more. More bark. A bite, just one morsel. <laughs> one piece, a crumb. Uh, food, food. Shank, not not again. Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. No Until shit. He gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Why not? Necessarily. But Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is hmm. why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Nah. Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Oh, whatever, then. Okay. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Ah, uh, you sniper. Ah, uh, expected to do but yeah, see you later. Fine. See you later, then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. <laughs> Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. You fucking pussy. What I got over here? Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. So, no even need you to cut the another cell for the thing, yeah? Something down there. Can't see a thing. Light prints. Graven drug carefully. And blood. And thus. Ah, what do you got over here? No bite marks. Morkfark doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. And I need to come. Senses are really dulled. Mm. Monster tracks. Running, chasing something. Oh, amazing! So they're gonna fight each other now, huh? Looks I got like over here. Got bored of sneaking around. It attacked. Stupid dog! I'm busy here. Can you see little shit? Fucking die! Oh, whoa. Ah woo! Ah woo! Craven 
his blood. Craven's blood. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Craven's blood. What the fuck this guy went into? Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Wurkvark's face. Did you find something? A trail. Leads right to a locked door. I think you can get around it. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door uh... in Wurkvark's face. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Wurkvark's face. Yeah, 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 I can get it now. Mark Park doesn't give up easily. No shit, he doesn't. No shit. Oh, we already Craven seen this the one already. Face. Maybe from over here. Maybe. I don't know. A fucked up rake. A fucked up leather. Amazing shit block. Alright. I got them wolf around here too, huh? What I got here? God damn. I need to burn you up a bit. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Where am I? What is... I'm curious now, I'm curious. Sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Nameless. 
looks like rain. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be acid rain. And we gotta all be melting like slowly. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I doing over here? Come on now. Ah. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. And in that case... Hey, can you hear me? I can't. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Yeah, yeah. A lot of blood trail over here too, and... Well, well. What do we got here? Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? Dead. I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. You have a plan? Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. <laughs> we'll talk when you get here, alright? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Meet some rotting meat. So he's a zombie now, or what? Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone hm. can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Right, I'd love to see. Who was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Alright. Need to get any green for the spell. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. What the fuck Am did I, I just read? It? Without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Hostesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Fine, we got to work. Let's get to work. Selene, <sighs> Selene, Dufrain. Long doesn't get up and try to bite your brain. Now he's gonna get up and he's gonna try go to try to eat brains, isn't he? Mmm, brains. <laughs> hey, brains. Brains! Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I. We are looking for Siri. We are looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She, she's Curse me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She fell! Okay, 
So now we're gonna hear the story of Siri from a zombie. Almost when this guy was alive, and then he died, and then we came and turned to a zombie. And here he was about to torture a little crab. It dropped your retard. Oh lord. Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zire. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath Drowned Dead Rock. Can you remember? Drowned Dead Rock? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned Dead Rock. Well, fair enough then. Wake up, sleepyhead. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's alright. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... How'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help me up. Help... Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. <laughs> Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Oh. I must get to Drowned Dead Rock. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. Well, the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. True, Fine, true. that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Better show some more dignity, like last time. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh, no yes. shit. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you, Nosy? Surprised? And sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Good. It's your muscles are working. And main the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! Ah. Huh? In you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. I can't use the Witcher senses to. Oh, whatever. Alright, give me a second. Just cause, uh, you know, obvious reasons. So then, like, you know, the minor, the appropriate tools for that as well, too. And of course, you know, if you. Ah! Uh. All right. Yeah. Good lord. Oh. Oh. Right then. It's a bit of a bummer as well too, you know, because uh, you know the Witcher series can be a very, very fun game. But thing is, I mean, 
Some things you gotta know pretty spicy, pretty, oh, pretty quickly. You're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I. I hope. My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Uh. No, just so uh, you're like me. No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. What? what? But I asked her. Besides, isn't it? <laughs> you are very. But. You know what? That's right. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. Ah. Well. You're right, let's go. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. You can write Grey back. <clears throat> She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'm going! I can look after myself. The wild hunt, eh? Dougie. Easy, villager. I got this one. You pulled nothing out. Brainlet. Doggo, fucking ice thing, and now spec half. Another one, sure, no problem. You will hag. But what is? Holy cow! Uh, I would really love you not know, to loot these guys, but darn shame I can't, isn't it? Perish, you thought! Fine, then. What? What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. Thanks. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Uh, she called me, sorry, called me silly. Faster! Faster! They're catching up! Out of my way! Shoo! That felt good. Then, if that's the way they want to be it, then that's the way they're gonna have it. Looks like we're missing out a few things on the series story, but whatever. Alright, kitty up there, failure. What? Let him away, but instead that. And I can see why now he was cursed. I 
Sí. What do we got ourselves here? What the hell? Oh, that thing again. But he was cursed. Well, that means... Oh. What became of that creature? Where is he? <laughs> what? He's dead, isn't he? Now, uh, what happened to the garden? What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Oh. How are you feeling? Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth. Or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Uh. Should have a little bit more sympathy? Anyway, they get the hell out of here now. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We have every right to be furious. Furious! And you! You will pay for this. Uh, we had no choice. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? Yes. That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? Yes. I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. <sighs> Should have let me driven a sword down her gut. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. We know Siri's not in Skellige. Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Siri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen either. Leaves Novigrad, world's biggest city. No one said it would be easy. Better to have some idea where to look than none. Uh, so. Makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it, safe and sound. That I promise you. The ugly creature is linked to Siri somehow. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. 
That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. Because he hung himself. He go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him. Kidnap him. Seems early to me. What would I do with him? Cart him around while I search for Siri and hunted monsters? He's safe where he is, with the Baron. At least I think so. I'll get him once I know why Siri went to Novigrad, what she did there. Still a chance I might find her there. Alright. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Hmm. Now, tell me. Do you... Hmm? No. Never mind. What do you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me. Mm. Do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That... Well... She's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt. We must... My Somebody dear, to talk. My dear companion. Or someone else altogether connected to them both. I don't know. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can. See what happens. What now? Ceres trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warriors Hall. We'll speak there. Larvik. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. <laughs> there was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Well, that make it even more rare. Achievement of Necromancer. Leave you a good time Master. to be saved, right? Yeah, definitely. We have a very good time to save. Bucket. And you know, she's already over there though too. Yes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> beat it to it. So many peasants. Death, death. There. I did a sleep over here. My dawn from the village, Baron Whore. You best take that back. Uh, you better, all right. That's not, you know, treat her, treat her nice, do I? You'll have yours. I was provoked. 
Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. What happened to him? They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gym. Right. So what do you... What do you want from me? I mean, where do right. I come in all this? So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gym. Sure, not a problem. I have no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Well, she did know pay off pretty well, so there's that. Fine. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. I don't know why, but I mean, putting the wolf mask on on Jera like this and going around like this makes it all the more fitting. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. So, where to now? Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you Certainly. agree with me? It would depend on the situation. Wonder if it's as strong as it looks. Alcoholic. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. And expect me to Not die. As precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Hmm. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. no. Now shut up and get in a boat. The helm. I'm in a boat already. I'm not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We Why wouldn't it be? Do you remember? Of course. And the lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was pretty. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? Ooh. You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. <laughs> for what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. True, true. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You oh, really? estimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. Of I'll course. A spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a reward. Yeah. Ready. Careful down there. Thanks for the, uh, putting me to uh, into cardiac arrest. Definitely. Very, very. Oh, look at that, a drowner. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Who wouldn't admit it if I did? Boy, I swear. Something interesting. A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Perish, you thought! You fucking drown, you fucking drowner! Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowned. 
hours, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew that made their nest here. There's also a clean drum with figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Sure, sure. I don't mind. A slower heartbeat means I can dive down even longer. I'm not sure if you know that applies to real life or whatnot, but well, I don't know. I won't fucking deserve it. Where's you now? Wherever the leads take us. It just hit a. It just hit a floating body in the water. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Kill it. For a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown. Are we still talking about the gym? <sighs> Doesn't much matter. Both my wishes yeah. come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep ways. <laughs> Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Don't mind me then. Oh, what could go wrong, right? And I can't see shit. What the hell are, are these things down here? In bubbles over here. Look, there's freaking nothing over here. Ah, here we go. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Which one it? Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Uh, fall into the water, whatnot. I'm gonna be sure. I mean, like, this is gonna be the one. Yeah, we already been. Ah, here you go. Good lord. Fine, fine, fine. You're stuck. I get it. Christ, could you... Is it a witcher thing to look for a place to get stuck at or what, huh? The fuck is... Good lord! Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Don't ask Clan. Donna was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken long ships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Fair enough. I love you know how the mass you know turned from What the fuck is that thing? Giving me no choice. Now drown. if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life, you gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, chasm below us was breathtaking, rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. That'll not be what I think it would be. 
Got the wise. Oh boy, it'll be floating on top of the water. There's something on the bottom. Let's see what it is. Uh, yep. What do I got here? Siren. Get over you piece of shit. That's right. Stay away from me. You abomination. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater. Is it a meteorite landed here? I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast <laughs> another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fortia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. That somewhat helps. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. I always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fortia Badem Ein Eichter Ilivaid. Good. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That'll that'll that'll, that'll do. Lawrence Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Could be. Attack me once, and I swear I'll come for you next. Holy shit, it's pretty fucking deep. Not much further. I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gym. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. No, oh, no, not a minute. <laughs> Stop whining. One, two. The only thing would be dangerous if it's done improperly. But the Enifer has done it quite a lot of times, though, too. <laughs> go on three. And she did. did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Alright, why do you want this power? That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? Be thankful already! We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other. But I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. Mm -hmm. So that's it. This is about my last wish. You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why? Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. <sighs> Fine. that myself many times you see we're just a step away from learning the truth if they're really meant to be each other or Come, what let's search the ship you know fish protection in like snowy air could be pretty good but if it's metal I don't know if it would be a good idea 
that it could be burning by now. In freedom. It seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a blood mark over here. Nothing interesting. Just junk and gunk everywhere. We have a small bedroom over here. Nothing here. Again, junk and how the fuck they got they got photos. How the fuck they got photos over here? That felt good. Interesting. Bombardier. Mystery of mysteries. That is the plan, though. What do you got here? Boats. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact of the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. What do I got here? Elemental Empires by Jean Batista. You really, really want to read it? Or maybe the mage must have slept here. Yeah, but in the past, someone was dragged across the deck, or left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. I crushed the guy to death. Have you ever thought about that? I know what this means. It means he means he was an alcoholic. I know what this means. Maybe with an alcoholic, I already said it. Like I said, yeah, I think you should see this. What like do I, you have? Someone crushed to death. It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact. Think the djinn killed him? I think the djinn did this to him. No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away, anywhere, to a mountaintop, even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. <laughs> now touch his body. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo. Come to the deck. I've an idea. Double time it already. God damn it. And does it really have to be in the deck? To be honest, I mean, this wouldn't seem, be, wouldn't seem like a bad idea at all. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. What are you beating to death? Riff Kaishta and Bayer. Kaishta et Disclair. Devered me Kassel. Oh. Yeah, do that again. You must weaken him while I draw him into the sphere. 
Right then. Really doesn't know what it takes, like to say. Yeah. I'm over here, you, 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 you bunch of smoke. Got you! Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. Do you see the spell that binds us? Only a djinn ah. can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. So that's it then. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Maybe someplace warm, for fuck's sake. Uh, bit, bit better now? Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a gin, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Oh, really? Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. <sighs> Couldn't have refused. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... You'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. Hmm. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Good. So you're not a thought. I still love you too. Boom. Like that. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? <laughs> Guess I why. Don't anything's changed either. I love you, Yin. And I love you. Oh, please. Get a room. Yeah, you literally sink a metal mask into your face. Look! That looks painful! Oh, what was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It oh, was okay. please. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. <laughs> Test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Oh. Not so God. fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. Good. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. True, true. Shish. My, it's lovely. Jesus Christ, what is this high school romance? Favor us. Of course he did. Got something to zap on my fucking finger. Right, right, right. Ah. <sighs> Uh, 
So, enjoy being a thought in both these two, or what? Next time we go on a horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. He'll probably break his back, you retard. Oh, no. Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. I should scour the palace library for something. Anything that might help us determine who or what the creature Scar saw is. Karen Morin's got a pretty rich library. I shall search that later. Besides, we really should report to the Emperor. True, true. So be it. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Syria returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yes, yes. Uh, that's time before we leave. Yeah, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. True. I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Alright, that was quite something. Fair go right over here as well too. Even if it's you horse and junior as well too. God, I forgot about that one as well too. So I guess that's pretty much it then. Well, cross your fingers as well too that I hope you know like nothing too bad is actually gonna pop out of you know and check. Oh hey you take it dead, you take it die. Well anyway, I don't know. But be good and enjoy this one as much as I did. And I look forward to the next one. So I hope to see you guys next time. And until then. Gotta love it when Shadow Play doesn't even respond now in the first second moment I hit the button. Could I save